welcome to the Restitute Orbis channel, and today we're going to be exploring the Hoover Dam. The exploration of the Hoover Dam is going to complete our initial look at the so-called Great American Monuments or Structures. We looked at the Statue of Liberty in the East, we looked at Mount Rushmore in the Midwest, or the West, depending on your perspective, and now we're going to look at the Hoover Dam in the West, or vicinity of the Mojave Desert, near Las Vegas. The Hoover Dam warrants our attention because of its construction timeline. We're going to look at specific details about it, but initially we're just going to take the glance of the Hoover Dam that many people do when they're on tourism in Nevada. When you look at the Hoover Dam, you see that this is a very impressive structure. Would you be surprised to know, though, that the Hoover Dam is actually considered an Art Deco construction? Of course, the other aspect about it is that it was built during the Great Depression, and right now we're simply relaying what is generally well known about the dam. We're also told that because of its tremendous power supply capabilities, it supplies power to Nevada, Arizona, but primarily California, which takes the majority of its power. It depends on what source you look at, and you'll get different accounts in terms of its actual power supply percentages to the states. Yes, no one ever would have thought that it would supply the great state of California, where they decided, so we're told, to build a city in the middle of a desert, that being Los Angeles, as we know the Los Angeles Basin is quite an arid area. Looking at some of the images, though, of the exterior and the interior, we see a tremendously impressive edifice. And indeed, the dam, and I'll try to resist the urge to make dam puns, uh, so much for that. But the dam was designed to provide power, we're told, and it was built during the Great Depression. Yes, another tremendous construction achievement during the Great Depression, because as we know, the United States government, at least, still had unlimited financial resources to conduct whatever projects that it needed to conduct.